An emotional and overwhelmed Danisha Amarasenge and husband Sam Vejaratne, their one-bedroom cabin home. While trying to hold back the tears, they said they were relieved to have been given permission to stay in New Zealand for another year. Everybody asking what is going on. Have you what you need to do, because... You have enough food, they asking. Because food. this is the hard time, My, uh, you know, the, anyone like this situation, they, the emotional heart, you know. The family faced deportation after Denisha's application for a work visa renewal was declined due to her multiple sclerosis, a condition that costs about two and a half thousand dollars a month to treat. The government uh, approved now three years right. for this special medicine. The Immigration and Protection Tribunal yesterday granted the parents work visas and the children student visas for 12 months based on humanitarian grounds, while their case for residency is being reviewed. The couple's three boys, Subat, nearly 13, Sanat, 9 and Binat, 10, are already back to school in Queenstown. Subat wants to play cricket for New Zealand one day. Sam says his boys are the reason he wants to stay in New Zealand. They have a lot of future plans. A small son, he said he need to be a doctor, he need to look after me. And second son also, I asking him to, to be a pilot and go to the New Zealand um, Air Force. <laughs> <laughs> While the family uh, hopes sure to be granted food. permanent residency, Clutha Southland MP Hamish Walker, who fought with the family, says more work is needed. Discussing their case over the next few days with the immigration lawyer, with the family, and then most likely um, right to the associate immigration minister and asking for them to be given permanent residence. The family can breathe easier now as they wait for their work visas to arrive and start work again. Mina Amso this afternoon.